Hey everyone, it's Kelly from Here Comes the Sun, and today I'm going to show you how to vectorize your hand lettering. So in order to vectorize your lettering, you need to use Adobe Illustrator. And what vectorizing your lettering allows you to do is it allows you to create a scalable file so you can put your lettering on something that's, you know, bigger than a business card. You can scale your lettering up without losing resolution. And also, um, this is how you create SVG files out of your lettering as well. So the first thing you need to do is to open um, your hand lettering file. And this is a file that I created a few months ago for my email subscribers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your file and then come up to Object, Image Trace, Make. And then over here in the image trace um, panel, you're going to open the image trace panel. And there's a lot of options right here. And so I do black and white logo, black and white mode. And I also come down here to ignore white. And what that does is it ignores like all these little areas. So basically it's going to cut out all these areas and all these like loops in between the letters. So then you come over here and hit expand or you can go to object, image trace, expand. And now if you zoom in, you can see that your hand lettering is now composed of anchor points. And what this does is this is what makes your file scalable is these anchor points because you've now just transferred or converted your file from a raster file because a PNG and a J JPEGs are raster files. So you've just converted your file from raster to vector. So you can totally leave it like this and that's fine or you can go in and clean it up a little bit, which is what I like to do. And if you're selling these files, you'll definitely want to do this. So in order to clean it up, what I mean is, if you see here, the, um, the curve is a little wonky right here, and down here on the U, it should probably be a curve, but it looks more like a point. So you can go in and zoom into each one of your letters and fix these things to make it look a little bit better. So I'm just gonna start over here with the Y. And I want this area right here to be more curved. Um, and you can see it's just like, it's a point right now. So I'm just gonna zoom in. And there are several options, several tools that you can use. First, you're gonna wanna get your direct selection tool by hitting A and select your text. Now over here, I like to use the Smooth tool first, and just hit that, and then come down here and click and drag where you want it to smooth. It just kind of smooths everything out and makes everything a little less wonky. But as you can see, it's, I still have a little bit of a point right there, so I also like to use the pencil tool to draw in a nice curve. And I'm gonna go back to my direct select tool, A. And then the pencil tool is right under here with the smooth tool. Just hit control and pencil tool. And then you can come and I just kind of draw in a curve like that. And see, it goes from a point to a curve. Now I'm gonna come over here and let's fix this point here with the U. So again, get my direct selection tool, hit A, and click on that. And then up here, get my pencil tool and just draw in a nice, like this. 
Some other tools that you can use, I already showed you the um, smooth tool right here. You can smooth out the lines. Um, there's also an anchor point tool right here. You can click on individual anchor points and move them. Um, you can also, let's see, you can delete anchor points by just clicking on the anchor point and it deletes it. Obviously, that is not what we want, but sometimes that works in some situations. But like I said, my favorite tools are the smooth tool and the pencil tool. You can also move anchor points if you hit the direct selection tool and click on an anchor point that you want to move. Let's say, let's say this one right here. Just click on it and you can just drag it and move it anywhere you want. And that works, um, I use that a lot in corners when I want the corners to be a little bit more defined. Like right here, I might move this anchor point in like that. And then I might use the smooth tool to like smooth out this area right here. So there are a lot of different tools that you can use to clean up your lettering. And so when you're done, what I like to do is I like to save it as an Illustrator file first. So you go File, Save As, and we're going to put it Desktop, and Illustrator. And then you also want to save it as an SVG file. File, Save As, and drop down and you can choose an SVG. So that is how you vectorize your lettering using Illustrator. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe. And if you want more tutorials like this one, please check out my blog at herecomesthesunblog.net. Thanks.